most Ohioans, most Ohioans, we are going to be in a place where people are very honest that there is some level of known or shortly after they get their body composition test, they find out that they have a higher percent body fat than they thought. It's not working for them. Or visceral fat. Or visceral fat level, absolutely. It's not working for them, okay? And it's not working for them, not because they have it, because then we can go and look at other longer-term labs showing longer-term organ indicators such as cholesterol and how the body's doing with that. Uh, we can go and get even more evidence if we need to and say, how long has this been at play? Well, let's go get a CTE and geography with Clearly and find out if the plaque is in there. If there's plaque in your, in your coronary arteries, okay, in your heart arteries, what kind is it? Is it... Is it calcified? That's the non-dangerous stuff. Hmm. Is it uh, non-calcified? Hmm. Is it LDL that's remodeling and is the most dangerous because it's the most, it's moving the most. What do you got? So when, even when we're looking at a calcified, you know, a coronary calcium score test, Nick, that is almost like looking, you're looking into the past exclusively or a false guarantee that in this moment, you're okay. You don't know. Mm -hmm. And you and I have looked at uh, charts of people who have done the CT uh, angiography with clearly, like the demo charts showing really horrific findings. They're redacted patient information, but they're real patients. And I think both of us are stunned that most of the plaque that is making these extreme narrowings is not calcified plaque. It's the non-calcified and the LDL remodeling plaque. So, you know, again, you get this information, then what do you do with it? You take action on it. 